It's week one of the NFL, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Texans and the Bears, next on EA Sports. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Chicago Bears. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTA. Ready to get us started, it's Cade York, and off we go from Soldier Field. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, He's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off a of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Dancing away at the 30, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. And as your game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. That'll be taken in by Shahid. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. To throw his fields. That is caught. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 42. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. On first and 10, it's Herbert. Jeremy Chin there defensively. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Here's second and five now from the 37. Here we go. On play action. Fields. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texan 17-yard line. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the Texans' 18-yard line. A shotgun snap, Fields. Over the middle. A diving catch. And the Bears are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. Fields going to hold on to it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields, a 40 
five-yard touchdown scamper. And the Bears are on the board here first in the season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical? and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter, that's when the knockout occurs. And becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Texans now for their first drive. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And this will be a Texans first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Play action. Here's Stroud. Finds his man. It's John Mechie. A huge play there for Houston. 44 yards. Oh, it's got to feel good to hit on one of these in the first quarter of a brand new season. They're hoping this duo can really make some noise this year. And this is a great start. A big play here early in the ball game. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups. One yard. Now second and nine. Now Stroud. Got his man, Dell. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And the Bears are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find the rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Fields. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. That was Will Anderson getting home and finishing the play. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Texans will take over. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. 
And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Stroud on third down now. This will be complete to Mechie. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31 yard line. Here's Daniel Whelan now. Back deep, Rashid Shaheen. Fielded at the 20. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now Herbert to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they've got it, second down and 11. Fields now to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Throwing on third down. Fields working the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Houston set to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They go again with Pierce. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Stroud here on third and long. And complete to Zach Ertz. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. And here's Daniel Wheeling on that punt. This is fielded at the 27. 
Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Back to throw. Fields escaping the pressure right. That ball caught by Harrison. Touchdown, Bears! A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason. OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, yeah. how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Ball start. Offense. Understandable we're going to see some of this first game of the year in a penalty. Yeah, we are. And don't forget the emotion of it all as well. I mean, they've been building to this crescendo the entire offseason. So we may see some of this in the early part of the game. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Tyreek Stevenson in on the stop. Stroud out of the gun here. He gets this one to Mechie. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. And he'll go down, the Bears get there for the sack. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. The Texans send the punt out as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Returnable here from the 38. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. Play action. It's Fields. They'll roll him out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Now Fields. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Will Anderson in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 
deep in their own territory. On first down, here's Stroud. And this is going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now it's second and 10. Play action. Stroud now. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack. But the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. It's a game of seven. Brings up second. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Here's Pierce on the counter. On the spin. Pierce has it knocked loose. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Following the fumble recovery, Fields. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Here's Fields. It gets this complete to Shahid. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. From the 35, here's a second and eight. Here we go. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes. He's miles away and smiling. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Now it's Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Bears are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign. So and we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Offense back out there along with Damian Pierce. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Ertz has it left side. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here we go, Stroud. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Stroud will look to throw once more. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Shreds the tackle. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Here we go, Scott. On first and 10, here's Fields, eluding the pressure right. They'll find Shahid out to the right. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And they're going to speed things up here. A play fake, now Fields to throw. He'll fire deep, looking for more. That is incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. Fields. That complete hits Tyler Scott with it. Touchdown, Chicago! Tyler Scott. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears continue to pull away here in this first half. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Santos with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Got his man, Dell. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big go. deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. The false start backs them up five, first and 15. Go, 
Stroud to throw it. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ready, go! Stroud sets up the play action. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Stroud on third down now. Right side complete to Mechie. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Pierce now up the middle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now Stroud. That's complete to Dell. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be fourth down. York able to send this one through. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the white. and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Herbert once more. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, Johnson. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. It's a pickup of 10 on a Bears first down. Fields going to keep it running right. And a loose football. And the Texans scoop it. The big fella. And a 
super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So the turnover first and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's work done. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Here's Stroud. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. It'll go down as a gain of six. Third and seven now. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Oh, looked like they got someone to jump there. And if that's the case, this will be a first down. Defense. This is unbelievable. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Stroud now on first and ten. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Texans! Take down an 11-yard touchdown. And the Texans take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is down to 28-10. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Now the ball comes loose. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Holding offense. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. Here we go, Jack. Hand off right side to Pierce. Shoves him aside. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And Stroud now to throw. Caught left side, here's Dell. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Pierce. They'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Third and goal, Stroud. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Brevin Jordan. From six yards away. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is down to 11 and 28-17. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. On first down, Fields. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Here's Fields now on second down. Flushed out right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Throwing on third down, Fields. That'll be taken in by Shahid. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. They're going for it. Here's Herbert. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. First and ten, it's Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Tank Dell already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Texans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And Remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Bears now ready to take over again. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Go. Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Herbert powering up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Will Anderson able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Cowboy 80. 
Throwing now is Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action, Stroud now. He finds his man complete. That's back and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. Stroud off the play fake. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Pierce. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. And here we are in the fourth quarter, Parker, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Ten more there and another first down. Well, Parker, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off. And the Bears are right back in this football game. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, here's Pierce. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? A hit as he throws there incomplete. A lot of pressure here for Cade York. A 33-yarder from the left hash. York able to send this one through. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The Bears on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll run with Herbert, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. 
from the 43. Here, second down and eight. Here we go. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. We'll get this complete downfield to commit. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. They knew they had the free play after the penalty. They get great yardage, so they can decline that penalty. And one of the things we've seen develop more and more in recent years, our team seeing that penalty occur and still taking the big shot downfield and hoping to gain the yardage as we just saw there. They practice it, they work on it, and this time they're successful. Brought down in the play by the linebacker, Christian Harris. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Fields now to throw. Open man left side. He has it. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll run here with Herbert. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. And they'll run again. And this time they'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning. Touchdown! Cole Komet from four yards out. And the Bears are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Santos able to tank on the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So Stroud and the Texans down by nine. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go. And the two-minute warning, that's going to be their only chance to stop the clock, so they'll need to move quickly here on first down. Taking a shot for Dell here. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Stroud looking to throw. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and ten here. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He's got it to Collins complete. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins, 52 yards. And the Texans are back within a score. They do tack on the extra point as well. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Holding, receiving team. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the special team's penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. A give left side here for Herbert. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. I like
like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capital. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that hole with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. The CD always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. We know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opening. And how many coaches tell us every single year, 